Yes, the court and costs. The court costs were waived. It was the day that the compliance date was set. So they, the, the presiding magistrate on that date waived the court costs for the hearing, right. but set a compliance date of October 20th, 2020, which, as we now know, you did not make the compliance date. So that's why fines ran. But the only question came in was how much were the fines based upon whether it was 2022 or 2024. And it turns out the photographs from 2022 reflect that the sign was still up there at that time. So I understand that, and I empathize. I know business is tough, <clears throat> but the signs remain even after you got a note saying remain for several years. So I'm re and I'm re and nobody requested an additional time to comply, or to stop the fines, or to stop the fines. So they are now 143 and change. Forty-three thousand. So, but that was just the court cost of one hundred and three dollars. That was it. That's all that got waived. Not the ongoing fine, right? So, um, I, I'm I'm going to leave the. I'm going to reduce it to two thousand dollars. I will give you more time to comply. Maybe reduce it some more, but I don't. I don't know how. Six. Let me ask this question. I mean, you're asking us to reduce the fines more. Do you have the ability to pay it? I don't have the ability to pay. We, so we it doesn't really matter whether we, It doesn't matter whether the magistrate reduces it to a I number know, I'm below. I'm just asking you guys for help so we can try to pay. I more. just gave you one hundred forty-one thousand dollars in help. I know that. So, you know, the city's gone out. We're here. You didn't do what you were supposed to do in two thousand nineteen. <laughs> I don't know when you finally kicked it down. You said a couple of years ago, which would have been 22, after the last inspection, it still showed the vinyl signs up. Right? So. If I had emailed to, to somebody at the office, would you happen to know the email that I sent it to? No. So. Um, 